Just got back from class. It's absolutely pouring outside. You can't even tell, but my face was soaking wet when I came in. Happy Wednesday, a little readjustment. It's midterms time, unfortunately. I feel like I sound a bit stuffed up. I just came from my screenplay class and someone in my class cast me to play like two of these characters when we were reading through her pages and I was the lead in it. And I realized I hadn't been talking that much today. I'm starting to sound nasally. This past weekend, I put TikTok vlogs like daily the lives up. We started filming people's short films for my intermediate film class and so I was on set in New Jersey all day Saturday and all day Sunday and I everyone I think has just been so exhausted after this first weekend and I also think because of midterms people are simultaneously getting sick so I fear that I've been fighting it. I feel like I've been on like the edge, the brink of it so I'm trying not to get sick because this weekend I'm filming my short film which I'm a little bit stressed about. Um, mostly excited and also very excited to just like have it done because I feel like with these big film finals that I've had all since even freshman year really it's like so much pre-production and stress and anticipation leading up to the film date and it all just kind of feels like a blur and you never quite know how you get to like from point A to point B it all just comes together when you finally film and then it's done and you're like not really sure how you did all that but it's just like it's done and then hopefully it worked out that's kind of where I am also so I shoot this Saturday and Sunday actually when this video goes up this Sunday I will be filming. I'll be on my second day of shooting, which is also Oscar Sunday. Happy Oscar Sunday. I've seen like half of the best pictures. Right now my favorite is Four Things, but I really want to see Zone of Interest and Anatomy of a Fall. Like those are the two other really big ones I've been hearing a lot about that I haven't seen. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze it in. Next week is the last week of classes before spring break, which is so exciting. I'm gonna see Tara again. I'm gonna vlog, obviously. I literally haven't seen this girl since May. So excited. Some of you, when I came back to New York this semester, were commenting about Tara not being in the vlogs, like before I even said anything. But before I can go to Madrid, a midterm exam Monday, I have a midterm presentation Wednesday morning, and then I have to do 15 more screenplay pages from Wednesday, and then I I'm filming this weekend and showing my footage Tuesday. So a lot going on and I don't want to get sick too. It's pouring outside. I think tonight's goal is to finish my pitch and my presentation for my director's process class, which I have in a week so that I can have that midterm done. Baby steps. Hopefully my grind will motivate your grind and we will all make it to spring break and not get super sick together because I, I sound like I'm already there a little bit. I turned on my string lights and when I was just filming that, it's like giving the weird cool and warm tones you'll never know what i really look like oh my god i sound really nasally when i fear the sickness coming on i always get gatorade and sometimes i'm like i should just be drinking gatorade all the time because gatorade saves me gatorade is so good for when i'm sick and when i'm hungover it does magical magical things half of this one left and then i'm out which i kind of want to go to wegmans tonight and get another one but i also don't want to go back outside because there's a flood warning and it's raining a lot i also don't own an umbrella but that's like another, that's another problem. Another conversation for another day. Coat is drying. Today's outfit was so plain. I didn't even do a fit check this morning. It's giving academia. It's giving student. It's giving, I was really tired. But one of the reasons I did want to vlog these next couple days is because I'm filming my big intermediate film this weekend. And so I figured I could show you guys some of the pre-production planning I've been doing right now because I got a couple comments on that asking for another breakdown film video. So I can do a later recap whenever that short film is done way in May. But right now I'll show you a little bit where we're at. Sophia is production designing for me and we literally hauled over to Home Depot 
and carry these wooden boards last week to my apartment. She's gonna come over, I think, Friday and start setting up everything. I'm filming in the apartment, which is great because then I save so much money. But we're gonna decorate this space because this was Olivia's room that I'm subletting, so all of her decorations are still up. She's a photography major at Tisch, so she took this photo, and this is gonna be like one of the opening images of the film, and we're gonna decorate around this with the PD and probably take this stuff down for the film and then replace it with a lot of things that Sophia has been making and crafting. And I just got a text from Haley, who's my director of photography, about some notes and camera stuff. This will make a lot more sense when the film is finally done. Anyways, happy not so happy midterms. Also in class today, I played, I didn't like play, like we were just doing a table read, but people cast people for their screenplays. So I played the lead, but Julia also cast me as the YouTuber of the script. So I was a natural. to Wegmans last night ended up going to Trader Joe's instead and got ice cream but I'll make it I'll make it today guys I have lore well not really lore but I feel like I'm on the verge of seeing the entire Stranger Things cast last week I was leaving my apartment and Maya Hawk was standing outside on the phone she looked very distressed did not say anything to her and then okay camera sliding does not appreciate the lore or maybe it's reacting to the lore it's like, wow, that's insane. And then I was at a coffee shop with someone and my hawk walked again. And then a couple days after that, I was coming home from my nighttime class on the phone with my mom and I was wearing a baseball cap, which all my friends have been calling my celebrity cap just because it like makes me look mysterious and interesting. But it's just because I'm having a bad hair day. And I was walking down the street and then this guy is walking towards me. I'm on FaceTime, so I'm like not really looking. And I also have my mysterious celebrity baseball cap on. And as he's passing me, I look over and he side eyes me and it's Joe Keery. And at that time I was on the phone, so I wasn't gonna say anything. Also, I don't know if I would say anything anyways to either of them maybe Maya Hawk I'm on the brink of meeting the entire Stranger Things cast basically is what I'm saying two people and I'm like I've seen the whole show anyways happy Thursday I didn't finish the presentation last night but I got a lot done which is good it's 9 22 usually my class starts at 9 30 but my group has a meeting today that doesn't start till 10 30 so I have a little bit of time gonna make breakfast i really want coffee but these past couple days because i'm worried about getting sick or i'm more sick i sound nasally i've been trying not to drink coffee because i know that coffee dehydrates you but i'm like i love making a little coffee drink in the morning so we'll see if i persevere but i'm wearing my betty boop t-shirt and i realized that i haven't worn that at all this semester and i used to wear it all the time in australia i would wear it all the time on like a sunday or saturday when i had to grind out homework i have always worn this shirt to coffee shops in sydney and gotten so much stuff done in one day hopefully that means we can have a productive day today maybe it's betty maybe i just need betty to do work really what i need is to be in the sun and healthy and at the beach i keep I'm not gonna lie i love it but you sickos need to stop making tiktoks that are like they're like imagine listening to this sound with salty hair and tan driving home from the beach or like napping on the beach girl i'm in new york city it's so cold outside we had a flood warning last night like Please stop. Imagining this just makes me more depressed. I actually realize when I'm in New York, I listen to a lot of the Beach Boys and like Jack Johnson 
and Bob Marley because I think the seasonal depression gets so bad that I have to fake the summer sounds so that I can keep going, keep moving. just lugged the sound equipment case okay it doesn't look that bad on here but lug the sound equipment and the boom pole from tish and up my walk-up apartment which is always just a little bit of a humbling experience i wasn't gonna make coffee but i think i'm gonna cave and i'm gonna make coffee and i may regret that just had my meeting with our professor basically gearing up because i'm directing this weekend so much craziness also so much money it's so expensive one of the most expensive parts is you simply just have to feed everyone and i'm like food is its own other ball game it's only 11 35 now so really was so short and then i have to be back at 1 30 for an editing tech do some work and then probably go back to tish we'll just keep working this is my favorite cup ever um usually anytime fridays are good or I mean, if you had anything earlier in the week, evening. Thank you so much. Getting ready for spring break. I need to be working. I need to be working. I was gonna ask if you guys cared if I made a get ready with me glow up for spring break video, but like I know I'm gonna make it anyway, so you just don't have to watch it. For Christmas, my mom, there was like a Black Friday deal. My mom got us un an underarm laser package from Sev, which is where I used to go in Central Park like sophomore year. I bought that one myself with a Groupon, but I have some underarm ones left and I'm like, girl, I'm not going to like a tropical spring break location. That's why I can do it. We just got laser booked. So you'll see that experience in that video. I need to keep working now. I'm getting distracted. I just want to plan for spring break so so badly, it's so close. Go to the trash. Sorry. That's actually you. Oh. 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 I got a clip. No. Ew. Oh. Oh. Bye, bitch. Oh. <laughs> 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 Holy luck. Stuffed animals. Movie started. Music. <laughs> Woke up. Good cinematography. <laughs> that was my review, man. <laughs> Colby fell asleep in six minutes. Cole, how did wash my face so it's a little bit red one of you asked me to do a makeup tutorial but i should have done it one of these other days but i was like always rushing for class so remind me and i'll do it in another video because today is the night before the storm it's like christmas eve if filming this was christmas except this is probably gonna be a lot more stressful <laughs> so i'm just gonna do very minimal makeup i just have like a little bit of redness sometimes right here but not that bad i don't know i just feel like it so i'm gonna do a little bit but i slept in i spent the morning editing i've actually started editing this video so it's like the quickest turnaround ever and i feel like people are really surprised when they're like how do you keep up 
with posting on YouTube every week with classes and I missed that one weekend and then a lot of people actually noticed and I didn't think people would. Like I was getting comments about it. People even told me in person, they were like, oh, you, why did you not upload? Long story short, it is very difficult, but it's just one of those things where it's like, if I want to make it a priority, then I'm going to have to find a way to squeeze it in. Last night, I'm almost done with my directing presentation so I can finish that and like work on that Monday. But because I need this video to go up this Sunday while I'm filming, goal is to try and get as much done of it tonight as I can and then probably like finish up thumbnail stuff tomorrow after the shoot. If you want to know how I do it, that's how, just squeezing it all in. It's like when people on TikTok are like, if he wanted to, he would. That's literally me with YouTube. It's like, if I really want to, I will. And I really do want to, so I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to keep going strong every week. In a little bit, I'm gonna walk over to Ali's apartment because he has some equipment, and then we're gonna walk it up and bring it up to my apartment. And then we're gonna go to the storage unit down in Soho, load up an Uber of a hellish amount of equipment. I'll show you guys. It was such a pain to get it from Tish the first day when we unloaded to the storage equipment place. And so like transferring it to my apartment, I'm so scared about how much that Uber is gonna cost. Have that. And then I'm supposed to meet Sophia at her apartment at four to help her bring over all of the props and production design she's been doing. And then we're gonna stop at Donut Pub on the way because I have pink sprinkle donuts that are gonna be a prop in the film. So we need to get those. We're gonna come back here and start setting everything up so it's ready for the morning. And then Caitlin's gonna come home later and I think we might set up a little bit of equipment. And then I need to go to Wegmans on my own and Trader Joe's to get some breakfast and snacks for everybody for the next two days. A lot of running around. And then tonight I'm not gonna go out. Like I was asked to go get drinks tonight and the answer is no. Like I cannot afford <laughs> to be tired or sick or anything and i feel like that's just what this semester has kind of been all of us in intermediate have lost our social life a little bit for these weekends that we're filming the way i see it is by the time that we're done with all five of our short films in my crew at least like there's i think there's like 16 or 15 of us in the class but in my crew that i have to be on then it'll be april and it'll be getting warmer so hopefully the going out scene will be getting better anyways and then we won't be stressed or as stressed <laughs> because we'll be in the editing process. Basically for this intermediate class, I'll explain this more too if I do a whole breakdown video later after the film is done and I can show you guys the film too. But for intermediate, NYU gives us each a $500 allotment, which seems like a lot of money, but $500 is almost like barely enough to cover feeding an entire cast and crew lunch for two days. And then you have to pay, a lot of people are paying for locations. Luckily I'm filming in the apartment, which is tight and gonna be tricky but it's free. Okay, also I'm just gonna like gel my brows. I use a clear brow gel just to hold them up. I have a $500 allotment, which I've been using for production design and props. And then I'm gonna use it towards food and probably this Uber, but I still probably will go over even though I'm not paying for location. And a lot of people in film, while we're in school, we're working on each other's sets for free. So it's all unpaid, but it's kind of that thing where it's like you help out someone, they help out you, and it's like a cycle. My actresses are in Tish as well, so a lot of the student films are unpaid, but everyone who works on the film gets a copy of the film. And obviously, like, when it's professional, everyone will be getting paid, but I do not have the finances for that. I'm thinking for the food... In the crafty, which is what people call the snacks on film sets, it's called crafty. I'm thinking for lunch tomorrow, instead of ordering, because on a lot of sets, everyone orders their own meal from somewhere, but that can be up to like 15 to $18 per person. So I'm gonna get a party thing of Raisin Cane's tenders, because I'm pretty sure everyone likes canes. I have to get Colby something else, because she's a pescatarian. Probably get her like, she wants sushi. And then I'm just gonna get snacks from Wegmans. And then I think Sunday, I'm gonna look into Potbelly because I know they do party packages too for sandwiches. I don't know, Sunday's call times might change depending on how much we can film tomorrow. But tomorrow, Saturday, everyone's gonna show up at the apartment at 8 a.m. early and then we're just gonna start. That's the vibe, pushing through. I'm also doing a super chill outfit day too. I just threw on a hoodie and I'm gonna wear jeans and sneakers again because it's my errand day and then I'm gonna be lugging equipment up this walk up and I know I'm gonna be dying, so yay. But the sun's out and it's blue, which is always a win.
it's so weird and creepy. It is. I'm horrified. It literally looks like I'm moving in. <laughs> She's so scary. Dude, it's crazy because the wall is so, like, you look so tiny. It's so late it ended up taking like three hours but sophia and i finished setting up everything i have all of this stuff here it's been kind of crazy and a mess and then i have this crazy calendar thing that she made we have a lot of props we redid pretty much everything she also did this bunny and it was so funny and the bunny is so creepy and fabulous we redid the pink curtains and then have some stuff set up that's a prop for later and she made all of these little trinkets and everything and it's so cute but yeah the apartment is packed right now this is gonna come down later and then the equipment is so crazy i went and got all of the snacks earlier so we have like breakfast stuff and stuff that we're gonna set up later and then i went to raisin canes and we're gonna have raisin canes for lunch tomorrow and i'm most excited about that but this is all of the equipment that me and ali got from the storage place and then carried here and i asked him if he wanted to be in the vlog earlier we were sweating so much he was just like no <laughs> simply no and then the camera batteries are charging. The lights are charging. This is the nightgown. Oh, we have more stuff hung up here. And Caitlin is crafting. I'm doing arts and crafts on a Friday night. Love life. I love it. It's so Thank cute. You. What's I'm this photo? Fun. This is like a Polaroid I found in my collection. It's literally like two years old, but I was like, the pinks kind of go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little craft. That's so lovely. Coke yeah, at Film Bro. Yeah. yeah. Film bros would never fucking understand the also, care that goes into this film set. Oh, exactly. The love, the canes, the We have crafts. such good food. Yeah. We have such good the crafts. goodie bags. At the end of the day, we care. We're having raisin canes. The next day, we're getting Subway. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to be it's gonna be good. And we have so many cookies and, like, banana bread and... Oscars 2025 city dolls. Like, if you really think about it. <laughs> Is copyright a made-up concept? Comment below. So tired. Yeah, we're like both delirious. We're so delirious, but it's like delirious to the point where it's so fabulous and entertaining. It's like an exciting delirious. It's like the good, like when you pass 11 p.m. delirious. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna put my hair, I think, in those little like overnight curler, like Star Wars things. She has a fucking sleigh set tomorrow. I do. This is a girl set. Like I have to look good. Everyone's gonna pull up fashionable. The dogs are gonna be on the Margella tabby. Also, I because I'm directing, I picked the crew, and we have all women on set, which I'm so excited for, and then Tristan. But oh, you're still vlogging. I I'm realize. no, I'm still vlogging. You're talking to me. This is all candid. I just have to end the vlog, but like I've been rambling, so I haven't been able to stop it yet. Let me stop it. Um, no, 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 don't stop it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally we're going crazy. I'm going crazy. Thanks for watching. I just showered um, And I feel like I went through a boot camp workout day because because I did because it was actually so much physical work short, baby. Thanks Queen. We'll see you Eventually later when I've recovered. Oh, we did the fridge too. It's like a weird shrine in here It's there's a lot going on <laughs> falling apart. Bye mm -hmm.